I hope you are having a wonderful Arab Shabbat and an amazing summer vacation. This week's parasha begins right here on the banks of the Jordan River as Moshe gathers all the Jewish people and begins speaking and remembering everything the Jewish people had done from leaving Egypt to receiving the Torah to arriving at the banks of the Jordan. And the Torah goes out of its way to point out that this speech was made standing right here on the banks of the Jordan River before crossing into Israel. Why do you think that this is so important to the speech that Moshe is about to make? While thinking about that, let's think about the uniqueness of this specific Shabbat. This Shabbat is unique and different than almost any other one because this week, the ninth day of Av, Tisha B'Av, is on Shabbat. You know, sometimes we think about Tisha B'Av and we think to ourselves, how am I supposed to know how to mourn, how to feel sad about losing the Beit HaMikdash when I don't even understand the Beit HaMikdash? So I'm here in Whitwell, Tennessee, behind the middle school, where they have a cattle car that used to run to the camps during World War II, during the Holocaust. And this has been dedicated in memory of the children of the Holocaust. Let me see if we can try to understand a little bit about feeling the sadness of the destruction of Anamikdash and the sadness of the Jewish people that we feel on Tisha B'Av, which this year we celebrate, we commemorate on Sunday. Maybe this story can help understand a little bit of how we should feel on Tisha B'Av. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful king, beloved, smart, liked by all of his subjects. And he understood that one day his country might be in trouble. They were very well to do, they were very wealthy, but one day they might need money. So every day, when he finished counting up the taxes that he collected, a certain amount went into a secret hiding place in the palace. He had a very secret treasure room. Nobody else in the country. None of his advisors, none of his children, nobody else knew about this secret room, except him. One day, there was a fire, and it destroyed the palace, it burnt it to the ground. People were very sad. They cried at looking at the destruction of their beautiful palace. Their king was sitting out on the street by himself, with no beautiful kingdom, no beautiful palace, just subjects sitting around feeling sad, and they wept, and they mourned, and said, Woe to us that we lost our beautiful castle! The king, however, he cried bitterly, because only he knew what was lost in that fire. It wasn't just the palace. It was years of savings to help their country through any challenge that was burnt and lost. And only the king understood this. The same is true for us of Tisha B'Av. Yes, this beautiful building burned down. Yes, the Jewish people have faced so much suffering over the years. But we don't understand it because it's been hidden away from us. We don't understand the Kedusha, the holiness that the Beit HaMikdash brought. But if we think about how much might have been hidden in there, maybe we can relate a little bit with the pain and suffering of Tisha B'Av. May this year be the last time that we have to mourn together. And very soon, may we celebrate together in the streets of Yerushalayim as Mashiach comes and we experience the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash. Shabbat Shalom. Have a meaningful and inspirational Tisha B'Av.